Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are well. Today I'm going to show you a cool uh, tutorial on how to build a full stack application using this uh, Neo4j graph database and uh, React also using uh, Express uh, backend. So here in the application we have this movies database where we can search for the movie uh, the movies and we can we can edit them to change the, their titles their taglines and release dates and we can define who acted in the, the the movie of course who directed it who produced and who uh, wrote and reviewed uh, the movie if we go back to movies we also have a uh, crud operations to the people so if we search for Tom Cruise, we can edit uh, his data. We can go back to movie. And in this graph visualization, we have this feature from a uh, graph database where we can have a graph, a visualization, uh, an overview from all the, 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 the movies, the nodes and uh, their uh, relationships. So we can um, filter them. So if I filter from Tom, we can we'll see Tom Hanks and Tom Cruise and uh, their movies. If we, we refine the search for only for Tom Cruise, we are going to see only Tom Cruise uh, relations. Also, we can go to uh, this shortest step, shortest path which is a functionality from uh, Neo4j and in, in this functionality we can uh, check of course the shortest path between two persons so between uh, Tom Cruise and Tom Hanks in this database we have uh, between them uh, a Top Gun which uh, Tom Cruise acted in Top Gun he, uh, Meg Ryan also acted in Top Gun and uh, she acted uh, in Joey versus the Volcano as well, like Tom Hanks. We can check other relationships, we can choose another um, random uh, person here, like say Ken Reeves, and we can check that Ken Reeves is connected somehow with Tom Cruise through a few good men Jack Nicholson and something's uh, got to give. Okay, uh, all those steps to create this full stack application, they uh, the, the steps are available in this uh, in my GitHub. So we are going to start uh, from scratch in how to build this uh, this application. All right. So this is the tutorial, uh, is github.com slash jpbarbosa slash neo4j-crud and uh, we are going to access uh, the week and uh, we are going to start in this NX setup. Uh, to build this application, I'm using NX uh, monohepo so we can search for NX monohepo and uh, it's great, a uh, great tool, and it's uh, fabulous to, to create mono repo applications. So, this in this particular one that we are going to create, if we go back to the home, we are going to have this file structure, and we inside it we are going to have different packages. One each will be the API, which will be an express backend. We, we are going to have the graph, uh, which is a library to access the, the, graph, the graph database and to interact with, with it. And the shared package with common files. We are going to share types between the front end, the back end and the graph. And of course, we are going to have the, the web, which is a React uh, front end. So back to this uh, NX setup, we are going to, I'm going to stop the application that I, I was running here. 
I'm going to clear uh, my terminal. I'm going to ex exit this Docker that I was running here. Exit, okay. So I'm going to the websites folder here. And okay, let's do it. So first step, NPM, we need to, to, to ensure that we have NX uh, installed in our uh, local environment. And I'm going to install it uh, globally with dash G, okay? Now we are going to create a new, a new NX um, uh, workspace. So to do that, we need to run NX, create NX work space uh, at latest to be sure that we are running the latest version of NX and I'm going to call our application Neo4j CRUD and we are going to use the preset TS which is stands for TypeScript. Okay, uh, enable no, we are going to choose no here and it will take a while to perform this, uh, the, the creation of the workspace. Let's wait, let's drink some water. Go, 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 go. Okay, ready? Now it's time to enter into the application, the workspace. And here in the workspace, let's clear it. So I'm in the new 4 j CRUD uh, directory. And uh, the next step, it will be to install some required packages. So install in the development. So we are going to use the narwhal uh, slash uh, node, uh, narwhal uh, express and narwhal react. So uh, those packages, they are from the company that makes the, the NX and they are necessary as a way to create our uh, packages. So they are required. Let's hit enter and wait a while. All right. Now that we have this, uh, those uh, packages installed, uh, we are going to generate the packages. And uh, to do that, we are going to use the nx command, generate, generate, and we are going to use Norwal uh, node to create a library, uh, call it uh, shared. Great. Uh, next step. We are going to use the uh, generate command again, narwhal slash node, and now it will be a library as well. And uh, right uh, again, so generate uh, narwhal express application, and uh, which will be in our API. Finally, and X generates an R wall using an R wall uh, reacts and it will be an application and it will be called a web which will be our uh, front end. Now we are going to choose SAS, okay? And uh, yes, we are going to use React Halter and to the bundler, we are going to use Vit. All right, uh, now we have the, the structure. We are going to open our code using uh, VS Code. All right, uh, from now on, uh, we are going to use the uh, VS Code integrated terminal to help us and um, we uh, by default, uh, we are going to use this to open this TS base uh, JSON. I don't know why uh, NX and many others, they use somehow outdated uh, targets to their uh, GS uh, T TypeScript uh, JavaScript tran transpilation. 
sorry and i'm going to update that to use 2021 and the target and the library as well just those two minor uh, updates and uh, i believe that's all now uh, to start the, our the the applications we are going to use nx uh, run many commands uh, target uh, serve serve and dash dash all okay we have this uh, api and web running the the web is running in port uh, 4200 and the api in this uh, 3333 uh, <laughs> Uh, port. So let's open the the front end. It's here working. Okay, uh, blank and X vit application, and we have the back end here. So we have the app and the API uh, running. So this uh, this step is the first step. To, our, to, to, to build our application. We are going to split our terminal here in the um, VS code to git add all the files to the, um, the git and commit them. So git commit message nx setup. All right. Uh, the next step is our graph database. Okay, we are going to split again our um, VS Code uh, terminal. So we have uh, three different uh, terminals here. <laughs> okay, the the left one we, we are going to use to run all the applications. In this this one in the middle, we are going to run a Docker instance. Uh, running Neo4j. To do that, I'm going to copy the command the command from the week, but basically it's running a Docker. We need to specify at least for our testing purpose uh, the Neo4j out to none, and we need to be sure that we are uh, running Neo4j with a POC, which brings a lot of extra functionality to Neo4j. So let's hit enter here and wait to, uh, to, to the Docker uh, start this new 4 j instance. Of course, we, ne we need to, uh, to, to have Docker running in our local environment. Okay, so uh, new 4 j is uh, started here. We can check that new 4 j is running by accessing a local host and uh, 7474 which will bring us to the neo4j browser and we are going to connect to neo4j and to double check that it's uh, running okay uh, i already loaded the 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 movies database so if i run match and movie and return everything I'm going to receive all the movies, okay? Back to the, our tutorial. Let's see the, our next step, okay? So this uh, command here will be important to be sure to, to load all the, the movies. So we are going to, to run cypher shell call apoc example uh, movies. I'm not going to run that because my database is already uh, with this data. And now uh, we are going to, to install additional packages. I'm going to make those terminals smaller to have more space to, our, to the right one. So npm install uh, body parser which is going to be used by the express backend to return uh, JSON responses. And of course, because we need to make to ensure that our backend will allow our frontend to access it. 
and dot env to store the environment uh, variables in a dot env file and of course neo4j driver to connect uh, to the neo4j using the nx uh, structure all those uh, npm packages will be installed like uh, globally to all the the to all packages and will be available to all packages so like dot env or neo4j driver or any other package will be available in the back end in the front end and this brings a lot of advantages to us because we don't need to care about uh, if the package is available in the in all packages or if their versions are the same so it's very good and I have a good experience using that NX uh, structure so let's wait to install uh, OK and additionally because uh, course doesn't have its types uh, we need to install it uh, manually all right next step let's create uh, an, an interface a type for the movies so we are going to to save it inside our packages share it share it uh, source types movie.ts all right and are going to export uh, type movie and um, it will be I'm going to turn off copilot <laughs> disable uh, globally okay much better <laughs> uh, please copilot turn on turn off so the, our uh, ID, the movie ID will be optional because in our uh, application, when we start creating a movie that it's not saved in the database uh, yet, uh, that it's still not saved in the database, uh, will not have a, a, an ID, uh, of course. So it will be optional and it will be a number. And the, our move is going to have a title, which will be a string. And we will have a released year, which will be a number. And we'll have a tagline, which will be a string. Okay, so this is the basic type for the movie. Now, um, this uh, move collections will be returned by uh, Neo4j and to, to, to add typing to that we are going to use some interfaces from Neo4j so we need to import uh, nodes uh, with capital N nodes and integer from our neo4j driver okay and uh, we are not we need to export type move node which will be a node integer and uh, we are going to pass the movie here okay and finally we need to export uh, type movies query results result uh, equal a movie movie all right next step so uh, organizing this shared this package we to have all the shared codes uh, inside the packages types we need to create an index file so code packages shared source types index of course I, we can use the the vs code explorer as well in and now we are going to export uh, everything from from movie let's save it yes one more step 
in the source index we are going to export everything from from types we know we don't need to export from lib anymore because this lib directory was created uh, by default uh, by an x and uh, it's not uh, necessary okay let's do to our graph package inside source we are going to create a folder called movies all right and inside movies we are going to create our index.ts this package will be responsible to interact uh, with the database so we are splitting our backend code between the http uh, service provided by express using this the, the api package from the graph uh, package so to start uh, these movies uh, we need to import session from a neo4j driver okay and we need to import movies movies query uh, result from neo4j crud shared and this is something very unique and cool from provided by nx which by default exposes its packages uh, using this this alias so at neo4j uh, dash crud has access to the other package so if neo4j dash crud uh, slash share it we will import the interfaces that we need all right so now we are going to export const movies we are going to use this functional programming uh, kind of stuff so this is going to return all the the, the necessary uh, methods to interact with the new 4j so the first one is get all we need to have a method to act to retrieve all the the data so it will be an a sync uh, of course and uh, will be arrow function that in its result will come from await uh, session uh, new 4 j session of course which will run a, a, a specific query and will return uh, something that will look like a movies uh, query result the query let's uh, define it as a template literal so match we need to return all the movies so we are using new 4 j here so movie from label movie uh, we are going to return to return movie and for each movie we are going to return all its properties and we are going to return the id from uh, new4j as well ordering it by movie title all right all right and finally const record will be equal to results records map for each record we need to get the movie property which vs code somehow is helping me to get and finally return records Oh, right, great. And just to prove that uh, the TypeScript the typing it's working here uh, through the interface that we define it inside shared folder package. Uh, if we change here from movie to something that it's incorrect, is something like movie um, x at x okay it will the, the the vs code will trigger the type checking all right so let's save it and 
we are going to use this same pattern uh, to create an index file and to export things. And so here in index from the graph, right now it's exporting libgraph, which is the same case of the previous shared library. This is something that uh, NX created. We are going to change it to movies. So we are going to export to expose the, the methods that we need. All right. So we created the shared types. We created the graph. Uh, get all methods. Now we are going to to connect the, those things using the, the, the API. All right. So here we are going to close graph and let's close the files that are right now open it and um, open the API, the source and the main. Okay. Right now it's running an express server here. We are going to keep that. Of course, we don't need this comment. We of course need express and we are going to import Neo4j from Neo4j driver. All right. And uh, we also need to import our functions from our Neo4j graph. All right, this path is not going to be used anymore. This port, uh, we are going to move it uh, to the top. And uh, okay, this assets is not going to use, be used anymore. And this one, it's not going to be used as well. So now we need to create app.get, we need to create an endpoint, a resolver to slash movies is going to uh, its callback, it will be a request and a response. Okay. And uh, here, at least right now, we are going to connect to Neo4j and we are going to pass this connection to the, our Neo4j package to finally uh, call the get all method. So first the authentication, we need to use neo4j.out.basic. Uh, as we started our Docker without uh, authentication, we are going to pass an empty user and an empty uh, password. And uh, neo4j by default, treats integers uh, differently from JavaScript. We are going to disable this, disable less, less integers, true. So we need this con extra configuration. Finally, our session, it will be equal to neo4j.driver. And uh, we are going to use this both protocol localhost remembering that we are running our uh, docker uh, neo4j instance here in our localhost and the default port is 76 87 and we need to pass the authentication the configuration and from that we are going to extract the session Finally, uh, the records will come from our uh, movies, from the graph. We need to pass the session and, of course, uh, TypeScript helps us a lot here and already brings us the available methods. Right now, we, are, we only have get all, all right? And uh, finally, we need to, the records, we are going to close our new 4 j session and we are going to response send the records. All right. I believe that's all. We already have the, our uh, applications running here. Okay. And um, 
just a minor uh, fix here. Let's remove this APR here. It doesn't make sense anymore. And uh, back to our browser, let's uh, access movies. Movies. And here are the movies coming from our Neo4j database. I understand uh, that uh, those steps, they took some effort from us. Let's uh, commit it. So let's add all the files to git and so this is that graph data database. All right. Right now we have Neo4j running, okay? A graph database, a powerful graph database. And we have an entire mono uh, structure using TypeScript, so we have those, the API package which provides us uh, the Express HTTP server uh, service and we have the, the graph library which is connecting our application to, to the graph, uh, Neo4j graph database. We have the shared folder and uh, in the next steps we will be uh, touching uh, much more. All right. So I hope you uh, are enjoying this journey and the result will be worth. Okay, bye bye all.